Hello, welcome to Sunday call. Today we are going to solve the day two of September eight code challenge. So today's problem name is contains duplicate three. So basically, if you read the problem statement, it's saying that we will be given three input. One is the number, another 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 two input is two variable. Basically, k and t, right? So basically, we need to uh, we need to cross we need to traverse through the array and we need to uh, check uh, certain two criteria given two criteria. And if if those two criteria are satisfied, then we can return for true or we can return. Or we need to return false. Okay, so let's try to understand the problem in more details. So what they are saying here? So we will be given this array, right? One, two, three, one. And so suppose k is three and t is zero, right? So k is initially uh, given k is t uh, three and t is zero. So what that means? So suppose I I pick this number and I pick this number one and two, right? So I will check the difference two minus one. It's giving me one. So in this case, they are saying the difference would be zero, right? So it should be less than equals to zero at most. So that means it should be less than equals to t, right? And if it is satisfy this condition and this condition also. So what is this condition? So that means k equals to three. That means so suppose it's my zero index, it's my i one, it's two, it's three, right? So if I do the difference, so it will give me one minus zero index difference, right? So one is value difference, one is index difference. So if I do the difference between index one minus zero, it is one. It is less than three. It is satisfying this condition, right? It it is less than three, but it's not satisfying for this condition, right? T equals to zero. So we will move further and we will check: is there any combination exists? So I can I can see that if I pick this value, and if I pick this value, first and last value, right? So in this case, my difference is zero. So that means it's it is less than equals to T. It's satisfying this condition and the index difference also, right? The last index value is three, right? So last index value is three and it's one zero, right? So three minus zero, it is giving me three. That is less than equals to k. So basically, it's it is satisfying both of this condition, and we can return true in this case, right? And if it is, and if you check the other example also, right? So suppose if you if you check this uh, example three, you can see that uh, it's not possible, right? So there is no there is no two numbers where we I can get difference where difference is less than equals to three right so in that case we can return false okay so this is the problem statement that we need to solve it today so let's try to uh, identify some solution uh, so what what can be the solution one thing can be uh, a basic approach right a naive approach what we can do here we can we can we can pick one element of the array. And we can keep iterating the other portion of that. So suppose I pick one, and I will check all the three value in its right side, right? So using this, we can obviously solve this problem, but that will be more time consuming, consuming because we need to use uh, nested loops and time time complexity will surely increase, right? It can be uh, order of n squared in worst case scenario. So, but according to their hints, we need to solve it in n log n time, right? Instead of order of n square, uh, I think they are saying that we can solve it in uh, order of n log n time. Okay, so how we can solve it? So basically, the first thing that uh, there are two conditions, right? The value difference and the index difference. So to maintain the index difference, so suppose here our k is equals to three, right? So that means at most we can consider three value only, right? This three value. So to maintain, so you can think like this is a window, right? Flying. So we can use the sliding window logic. That means we will initially start from zero, and for probably we can take one set, and in the set we are we are going we we will we will going to add every value, right? So at first I will see that my number is one, so I can insert it in our set. Then I will see uh, I will add two also, and I will check the logic for t. And if it is not satisfying, then again I will add three. So this is where in this way we are we are we are going to add element. So once we add all add all the three element, we can see that its 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 size is reaching to its limit, right? So now its size is three. That is less than equals to our k size. So whenever I will see that its its my set is full or my set size is less than equals to k, it 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 is becoming k greater than equals to k. Then greater than k. Then we are going to slide our uh, window, right? So that means I will remove this first element. And I will consider last three element only, right? Then we are going to check the actual difference. Okay, so to check the to to check the index index difference, we are going to use set, and we are going to we are going to use sliding window algorithm here. Okay, and how we can check now? The next target is how we can check the value difference. That value difference should be less than equal to t always. So how we can do that? So as I already told you, so we need to solve it in order of n time, right? What we can do? So We can use uh, we can use the binary search tree data structure, right? So what the, what binary search tree do? 
So basically, in binary search tree, uh, in self balancing binary search tree, that means in binary search tree, or uh, root nodes, if I if I go if I traverse to the left side of the root node, that will be all the values will be uh, less than the root value. And if I traverse the right side of the uh, root node, then all the values should be greater than its root value, right? So this is the property of binary search tree. And suppose I am I want I want to insert any value any node or insert any um, Change or remove any node, then that can be achieved in log n time, right? Since it's sorted kind of thing and it's auto balancing. So suppose if I want to remove one, then we can easily remove it and it will remain like this two and three. And if required, it will auto balance, right? So basically, if I going to use a binary search tree kind of data structure, so that will help me to drastically reduce the time complexity, right? Because insertion, deletion, and traversing will or, or searching will take log n time, right? So we we are going to use some kind of binary tree. To find uh, the difference between two values, right? So, so, uh, so in Java we have one data structure, inbuilt data structure called tree, tree, tree set, right? So if I if I if I can use tree set, then we can uh, use both of these conditions, right? One is the set property for sliding window, and to uh, main, to check the difference, we can use uh, tree tree set, right? So basically, tree sets uh, internally works as a binary search tree only, right? So, so that uh, in three set, whenever we are going to insert any new node or insert any new value or removing any value, it will take log n time only, right? So that will help us to re uh, reduce the time complexity. Okay, so this is the logic we are going to follow today. So let's quickly write code using Java. After that, we will again try to analyze the time complexity and all. Okay, so let's do it. So at first, what I will do, I will declare my three set, right? So its type should be integer. And let us name it as ts and let us initialize it quickly. Now, once we initialize our tree set, what I need to do, I need to run one for loop and I need to consider each and every uh, element of the given array, right? So it should be initially i should be equals to zero, and our for loop uh, will run till our uh, nums dot length and i plus plus. Okay. So now what I need to check uh, initially my set will be blank, so we can insert in our set, right? So we all know that reset is sorted. Reset is always in sorted order. Plus, it will contain only unique elements. Okay. So now, what I need to do, it should be ts dot add, and we are going to probably store int c, and we are going to uh, in this c variable, we are going to uh, store the current number, right? Num i, and we are going to add that in our c. So it is for the when my reset is blank. But suppose if already, for, 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 so when my i will be equal to 2, right? In that scenario, our tree set will contain some value, correct? So if it contains any value, then you need to check the difference, right? That is my difference is less than or equal to t. So it's not like that we need to check for uh, when my tree size will be 3, right? Because it's saying at most. So if it is two element, then also we can check that is it is it satisfying that t condition or not, right? So what we need to check, we need to check, right? Before inserting, we need to check. So if so basically, tree set comes with two inbuilt method. One is floor and another is ceiling, right? So using floor, we can get the minimum value of the tree set, and another one is ceiling. Y using that method, we can get the maximum value available in the tree set. Okay, so we are going to leverage these two methods. So at first, what I need to check, uh, I will check that C. Sorry, it should be ts dot floor C not equals to null. So this is for so, so when initially my tree set will be null, then we don't need to check this condition, right? So to avoid those scenario, we are just checking the null checking. Okay, we are adding this null check. If it is not equals to null and null and ts dot floor c plus t. Then we can return true, right? And we need to similarly check it for uh, ceiling also, right? So let's do that. So if my ts dot ceiling c is not equals to null and okay, so it should be double and and c should be less than. Okay, and similarly, we need to check it for ceiling also. So C should be greater than equals to ts dot ceiling C and minus T. Okay, so if it is satisfying this condition, then also we can return true. And else, if it is not satisfying any condition inside this, and then we can return false. Okay. 
and so this is mainly for uh, checking that uh, t value right so difference actual value difference should be less than equals to t but we need to consider the sliding window or the index difference also right so we need to check that condition also at the end so inside the for loop only so we will check that if my i is greater than equals to k if it is greater than equals to k then we need to remove the first element from our tree right so we can again call the inbuilt remove method that will again take the login time only so it should be uh, ts dot remove and we are going to remove the number nums i minus k right so basically so suppose if you if you check the diagram right so initially it will be one two three then we are going to add one here then again we will check is this is this is its size exceeding the k value if yes then we are going to uh, remove this value right we are going to remove this one right so we are going to remove this value so my in this case my k will be 3 and i will be 4 okay and we are going to remove that value i will be 3 and k will be 3 also right so 3 minus 3 is 0 so i am going to remove the first element from our set right we are doing that only okay i think that's pretty much let's quickly run our code and check whether it's running or not Okay, I think there is some small typo here. Let me quickly fix that. I think it's, it's compiling now and it's giving me expected answer for the first test cases. Let's quickly submit it and check also. Yeah, I think our solution is accepted. Uh, let's try to uh, go through the code once again and try to uh, analyze the time and space composition. Okay, so let's try to understand the code quickly. Okay, so what we are doing here. So initially we declared this tree set. This is basically used, will be used uh, to maintain the window size or maintain the uh, k value, right? So k is our three here, and t is here zero, right? So what we what will happen here? So I will start my for loop and I will pick this first element, and in this case this condition will not execute because our set is blank, right? So it will be null only. So I am going to insert one in my set. Okay. Now again what I will do? After, so again my i will be incremented and i will point to here the 2 then i will pick that element and i will call this floor method so what this floor method will do so inside uh, currently my tree set has only one element one right now the floor method suppose i am i am, I am calling that ts dot floor 2 so that means it will check that what is the corresponding highest uh, lowest value right floor value for 2 so in this case we have only one so it will be one only right it will return one and you can see that c means 2 less than equals to 1 plus 0 so it is not satisfying this condition right so the difference is not 0 between these two uh, floor value and the c value so we can we can't return true right so it's not satisfying that condition in case in this case difference is 1 it's not 0 so again now we will check for the ceiling value so ceiling value will give me the maximum value again in this case we have only one value so maximum value will be also 1 so again the difference is 0 uh, difference is 1 right so again we can't return true from this so again uh, we are going to uh, now we are going to insert two also in our set right so our set will contain like this one and two in sorted order okay so now again our counter will come to here in three position right again i will check that what is my uh, floor value for three again uh, so if i if i if i pass three so in in this case my floor value will be one only right so again so it, it, it will give me uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 so difference is not matching it's not less than equal to 0 then it will not go inside then again it will not also go inside this also because the difference is uh, the maximum value is maximum value is 3 again again the difference is not less than equal to 0 so it will not come inside also then again we are going to insert 3 also right so our uh, set will contain 1 2 3 now what we will do we will come here for 1 okay so now again I will check the minimum value. So in this case, I uh, my floor will return one. Okay. So for corresponding one, my minimum value is one. So it should be one minus one. It will be zero, right? It's satisfying this t condition. So we can return true from here. Okay. So this is the main logic. Uh, and what will be the time complexity and space complexity? So in you can see that the space size is uh, we are using tree set of uh, maximum size of three only. So it, it you can say it order of k and what will be the time complexity time complexity will be that we are running through the whole array once so it should be order of n should be there and we are just in uh, taking the floor value uh, we are also removing the value also right this removing function and all 
so that will also take log n time okay so uh, log uh, so either it will take uh, it will take log n time okay log n or height of the tree probably right so it should be uh, order of log n okay so i think that's pretty much for this video if you like this video please uh, please subscribe to our channel and if you still have some doubt you can ask me in the comment section thanks thanks for watching bye bye